Hey, it's Andy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing why I stopped using Retin-A and why I am never going to use it ever again. I'm going to share why I started using it in the first place, what changed that I decided I was going to use it anymore, and what am I using now. That's what I'm going to cover in this video. If you're new here, would love to have you join. I share new videos every single week. I share makeup, skincare, fashion for us mature ladies. If that's something that interests you, please consider clicking that subscribe button below and make sure you click that notification bell too. Fingers crossed that YouTube will notify you. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. I, won't, I don't want you to miss out on any of my future content, so let's just get into it. So I started discovering little bumps on my face, mostly on my forehead. I thought they were pimples. I didn't know what they were. So I went to my dermatologist and she told me I have sebaceous hyperplasia. I'm like, what the heck is that? So they're, they're oil glands that get blocked up with oil. They get, the oil gets hard in there and then they, they form these little bumps. It doesn't matter, men get it, women get it, it doesn't really matter. It usually happens when you're older. It can't happen because of um, hormones could have a play with it, uh, hereditary could have a play with it, sun can have a play with it. But one thing I want to tell you is if you ever find something like that, don't assume that it's a beach type of place. You always make sure you get it checked out because sometimes that could actually be skin cancer. So just always make sure that you, if you see something like that, just check with your doctor to make sure everything's okay. So my doctor discussed some options that we could do to get rid of these. Now, when I say get rid of them, it's not something that is permanent. So there's different options that you can do, which I'm not going to go over because this whole other video. But one of the things that she recommended was using a Retin-A. She started me at the lowest dose. When I first started using it, I just felt like I wasn't seeing anything and I probably didn't give it enough time. Um, but I just felt like I wasn't seeing anything and I just felt my, my skin was getting dry and I'm like, I already have these bumps. I don't want my skin to look like dry and patchy too, you know? So I stopped using it and then I don't know how many months later, I decided I was going to use it again. And at the time, the second time that I started using it is when I started hearing how it has anti-aging benefits. So at this point, I was in my late 40s. So I thought, well, if it has anti-aging benefits, why not? I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get, you know, make these look flatter because that's the thing. You're not going to get rid of them with Retin-A. But what it will do is it'll shrink them so they don't look as bad. So I started using the Retin-A and I used it for a while and then I decided to go up to the highest percent because I didn't feel like it was doing enough. I didn't feel like it was doing enough for my spatial cyberplasia. You know, I wasn't seeing it and I felt like it wasn't doing enough for my skin so I decided to bump it up. But when I bumped it up, it was just so, my skin was so dry and just continually peeling no matter what I did. And in the meantime, I didn't feel like my spatial cyberplasia was getting better. I just was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to keep using it. Now, part of that was I was supposed to go in to see my dermatologist, couldn't get in to see a dermatologist. So that was part of it. But I also had that in my head too, is that it wasn't really doing anything anyways. So I'm not even going to, I'm not going to worry about it. I heard about Curiology. I know a lot of people learned to Curiology. I can't even say that. I just, I'm not bashing it. Okay. But I just don't, I I want, if somebody's going to prescribe something like that for my face, I just would rather go to a doctor. That's just me. Um, there's been success stories with Curology. I know some people absolutely love it, but I've also had, I've seen reviews and I've also had subscribers tell me that it was horrible on their skin and it messed up their skin. And for me, I just feel like it's because someone isn't really seeing you. So... Again, I'm not bashing it. If you love Curology, that's great. I heard about truth treatments for a while. I heard about it. I heard a lot of hype. I just feel like sometimes when things are so overhyped, they're just overhyped and they're not that good. So I decided to try truth treatments. First, I tried the vitamin C. And you guys all know how I love the vitamin C. I actually feel like the vitamin C helped flatten my spatial I have them. 
I have them on my, I have them. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. But I feel like they're flatter than they were, which makes me happy because I know there's no way to get rid of them. Even if you remove them, they can come back. It's just a nightmare. But she sent me the retinol. And let me tell you something. Since I started using this, I am never going to go back to using a Retin-A. I won't. It's not good. So the the two, because I use two retinols from them. I use my 1% retinol light. And then I use my 5% retinol. So I use both. The reason I use both is because the 5 is it's pretty strong. It's, I feel like it's probably like the full strength that I was using for, from the retin, from the retin-A. So I use the 1%. You use so little of this. I mean, this is going to last you a while because you use very little. I use this two nights a week and I use this one night a week. That's what I do. I don't use it every day. I don't know if I'll ever build up and use it to that extent. I don't know. Um, I'm using also their AHA resurfacing. I use that as well from Truth Treatment, so I use that in between these. So I'm always exfoliating on my face, but it's just a different way of doing it. But I love this. When I wake up in the morning, I feel like my skin has a glow, and I feel like it's partly to do with this. Everybody that I have has started using this since I shared this on my channel, the vitamin, the, the vitamin C and this, it's just one of the best products I have ever used so much better than the retin-a in my opinion so this is going to do the same thing that a retin-a is going to do if you're new to using it it may take your skin a little bit longer than a prescription is what i was told but it works just as well and i feel like it's been better on my skin than that because i don't have that peely skin now i heard that the five percent you can that's why i only use it once a week yeah, maybe eventually it'll go to twice a week, but I just don't ever want that peeling because I just feel like I'm trying to do something for my skin, but if my skin just looks like patchy and peely, that's not very pretty looking. Do you know what I mean? So I can't say enough good things about this. I have a, I have a code for this too. If you want to try it, you don't have to use a code, but I'm going to tell you when I purchase it, I use someone's code. I never pay full price for it. I purchased mine from Freeze Beauty. There's a lot of codes out there that you can try. You save 20%. So like I said, I never pay full price on it. I absolutely love this. You guys have seen it. You've seen the change in my skin. You've seen the changes in my skin since I've been using this especially. So the hype is real on it. It's amazing. Nobody ever complimented me on my skin. When I was using Rene. I never got that really. I never had people say, oh my god, your skin's glowing. Your skin looks amazing. I mean, even when I have no makeup on, people will tell me that. When I've been using this, that's all I hear. And I'm telling you, it's the skincare that I use. And that's the biggest change that I've had was using that. So I'm never gonna go back to using Retin-A. If you're if you are like me and you're frustrated, you're using Retin-A and all you see is peeling, but you just feel like it's peeling, but then you put your makeup on it and it looks like crap. No matter what you do, think about trying this. That's all I'm gonna say. Start at the 1% though. Start at the 1% and, and try it out. Use it three times a week and see how it goes for you. I'm telling you, you will see a difference and you will be amazed. You really, really will. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you use truth treatments, I know many of you do, just pop it there in the comments. Would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Would really appreciate it if you would share it. You can follow me on the socials and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Absolutely love it. <laughs> please consider clicking that subscribe button below and hitting, hitting that sub, oh my God. Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's, do I look dark again? Ay, 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 ay. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it because the sun's gonna be going in and out. I'm gonna have shadows over here. Whatever. Okay, <laughs> it's just my temporary space to film my videos.